In this video, I'll be showing you how to use MailChimp custom reports. Custom reports enable you to build a report with the metrics that matter most to you to see how your contacts interact with your email campaigns. You can then use this information to help improve your email performance. You access custom reports from the left-hand menu under Analytics and Custom Reports. This will give you two options, the Metric Visualizer and Custom Reports. Under the Custom Reports tab, you will see a list of the custom reports you have created in the past, which you can then click to look at. If you want to create a new report, click Create Custom Report. Creating a custom report is very easy, you just need to add a report name, let's give it, call it Test Report. You just select an audience and a date range. Then you select metrics, you can select one or more metrics. If we click the drop down, if you want to select multiple metrics, you need to click the control button and click the, select the metrics you want to view. Then you can choose how you want to group your metrics. I'm choosing to group them by week. And then finally you have an option filter, you can choose an email type. And it could be regular A-B testing or classic automation, or you can choose specific emails. Again, you can select one or multiple emails, so I'm going to select three emails. If you select Show Layout Preview, it'll show you what the report looks like. So, you can, so we can see here, it's going to be the rows are going to be weeks, and the columns are going to be the metrics we selected. If we then run the report, it'll run the report, and that report will then appear in our custom list of custom reports. We can then view a graph, or we can download the data. Let's just view the graph. And here we can see a graph of our performance over the last 30 days. The Metrics Visualizer provides pre-built visualizations for a quick overview of a metric performance. So there's a number of different metrics here we, we can view. I'm going to choose Bounce Rate. And MailChimp will then create a graph of the bounce rate over the last 30 days. So we've selected bounce rate for the last 30 days, group by campaign, Got the bounce rate and at the bottom here it's got the emails so we can have a visualization of the, the bounce rate of different emails if we want to change the details we could change the metric at the top so i'm going to choose click rate and for the last 90 days and i'm going to group it by campaign i'm going to modify that and quickly mailchimp will produce a visualization of the campaigns over time 